Find the lateral area and surface area of this pyramid right here. Well, the lateral area of a pyramid is the sides. The surface area is the sides plus your base, your one base. So if you're thinking, oh, this is kind of similar to when they were prisms, kind of, but not exactly the same. Okay, not exactly the same. So let's start out by doing the lateral area first. Okay, the lateral area of any prism is found by doing the, and I'll put L for lateral area, one half of the perimeter of the base times what is called the slant height. Now, that's a pretty looking L because that pretty looking L represents the slant height. The slant height is the height of one of the sides. If I were to cut this up and kind of stand one of these triangles tall, and if you're thinking, oh, it's basically the height of a triangle, the slant height is the height of the triangle. Okay, so it's very, 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 very similar to one half base times height, which is the area of a triangle. It's just that I'm doing instead of one half base times height, I'm doing one half perimeter of this whole thing times height of one triangle. Okay, so lots of similarities here. So let's plug in what we have. One half is one half. The perimeter is I have one, two, three. So this is a pentagonal prism. Each side is eight feet. So the perimeter is going to be eight times five, which is 40. The slant height is 10.6. So to find the lateral area, I'm going to do 1 half times 40 times 10.6, which is 212, right? Because 20 times, yep. Uh, feet, feet squared because of area being square units. Now, common sense will tell you that if I'm finding just the sides to give me the lateral area and the only difference is now I have to add my one base, then why don't I write out the formula? I'm not gonna go to a formula sheet to find the area of the whole thing, the surface area, okay? It's going to be my lateral area, which is one half P times slant height plus the area of my one base. All right, so I know that my lateral area is 212. The base is a regular polygon. So you find the base by doing one half times the apothem times the perimeter. And if you're like, apothem, isn't that an animal that comes out at night? and has creepy eyes and sometimes gets hit by my car? No, that's a possum. An apothem is a line connecting the center of a regular polygon to the side of the polygon, uh, as long as it creates a 90 degree angle, like a radius, if you will. So my surface area is going to be 212 plus one half times my apothem, which is 5.5, .5 times my perimeter, which I already found out earlier to be 40. Okay, a little bit more math, 212 plus one half times 5.5 .5 times 48. Which is 132. And you add these guys together, and that's a three, and that's a four, and that's a four, and this is feet squared. Yeah, pyramids, Egyptians.